Johnny Walker Black Label Scotch is the world's most popular brand of Scotch whiskey and has been blended in the town of Kilmarnock in East Ayrshire, Scotland since 1865. The distinctive square bottle and walking man logo are instantly recognizable, especially to sports fans to which the brand has been concentrating much of its marketing efforts over the past several years. Johnny Walker's agency of record, Chicago-based Leo Burnett, is the eighth largest ad agency in the world and, in working through King and I Film Productions out of Los Angeles, hired Digital Media Services to provide the local film production support crew for the latest worldwide Johnny Walker short film advertisement. The ad is based on the true-to-life events of Chin Ming Wong, the New York Yankees Taiwanese starting pitcher, and his path to becoming a professional baseball player in the United States. Through the support of his childhood friends, Wong works through injury and adaptation to life in America in achieving his lifelong dream of pitching in the big leagues. Several scenes of the ad were to be filmed in Tampa during Major League Baseball's spring training season as Wong and the Yankees hold their preseason in the Sunshine State. Filming locations called for a sports rehabilitation center and an urban upscale restaurant. The Taiwanese film crew responsible for the production included director Yang Kong and executive producer Hank Sang, among others. The director of photography was New Zealander Chris White. Vince Mann, Digital Media Services senior producer, was hired by the production to serve as unit production manager. Vince immediately filled crew positions from his partners at DMS, utilizing Sean Darren to serve on the still photography crew, Rob Kildew to perform key set grip and second AD duties, and Brian Satchfield to shoot requested behind the scenes video and interview footage. Vince hired and managed a total of 35 local production specialists, including those making up the camera department, the sound department, the grip and electric department, the art department, the makeup and wardrobe departments, and the photography department, as well as staff managing craft services, catering, accounting, administration, and transportation. Vince's pre-production work culminated in a final schedule review between he and Hank at the Hilton Hotel, where final arrangements were made and last-minute details were decided upon. Shoot day number one began with an 8 a.m. crew call at the rehab center. Scenes were to be captured on two 35mm film cameras with sync sound for shots with dialogue. This was to be an internationally viewed film, so high production value was a must. All personnel worked tirelessly in attending to their particular areas of responsibility. A quick break for lunch at 2 p.m. came and went, while crews continued to put the final touches on sets. Chin Ming Wong, the star of the show, would only be available for a four-hour time slot in the afternoon, so each shot setup would have to be totally pre-built and pre-lit in order to maximize Wong's time on location. Wong arrived at 4 p.m. and went directly to makeup and wardrobe. The crew filmed shots of Wong performing rehab exercises, speaking with the doctors, conditioning, working in his home office, and reading letters from his friends back home. All the pre-planning paid off as the first day shoot wrapped with few complications and several reels of quality takes. A recently vacated upscale restaurant building in the Ybor City section of town served as the second day's location and the images captured here would feature the client's signature product, a one liter bottle of Johnny Walker Black Label Scotch. Again, each shot was pre-built and pre-lit in order to maximize the time with Wong, but this time the shots were more complicated. A rain machine, custom built by Vince, was featured in a shot of Wong contemplating his future while sipping on a glass of Johnny Walker. A condor crane for supporting second story lighting and a multitude of art design and set rigging would be required to capture other images depicted in the storyboards. Actors playing the role of Wong's longtime friends would be featured in several shots. To keep anyone from getting too relaxed between setups, still photography crews borrowed Wong for various publicity shots and representatives from the agency interviewed Wong on camera for other promotional uses. The long shooting day finally wrapped around 2 a.m. and the exhausted but relentless crew began to strike the sets and pack up the gear. Wong signed some autographs and took some photos while department heads thanked each other for their professionalism and hard work. For a production of this magnitude with such a fast-paced schedule and with a crew made up of individuals from all over the world, the two days of shooting turned out to be quite enjoyable and, according to the reaction by the agency and client, quite successful. This is no doubt a testament to Vince's planning and leadership. A few shots still remain to be filmed back in Taiwan, but a completed version of the story will be available on the Digital Media Services website upon completion. Until then, keep walking.